How do? It's Vlog Such here, and today I am playing the Bobby Bearing from the Edge. Though I don't think it's from the Edge from U2, but I haven't checked yet, nor have we really read it. So you never know. So let's have a gander, shall we? Oh, it's not. Uh, now, Bobby Bearing came out in 1986 from the Edge. Uh, it was made by Robert Figgins and Trevor Figgins. I wonder if they're related. I bet they are. Now, Robert Figgins uh, did Bobby Rearing and Fig Chess. I wonder if Fig Chess is named after the biscuits. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? And <laughs> Trevor Figgins also did Bobby Bearing and Fig Chess. Uh, now, uh, Bobby Bearing. Now, you remember a while back uh, we did reviewed uh, Gyroscope. That was at number 77. And you remember that I didn't really like Gyroscope. Now, in initial glances of Bobby Bearing, you may think, this looks a bit like gyroscope and uh yeah you well yeah it does a little bit uh as in it's 3d isometric however bobby bearing plays a hell of a lot better than gyroscope if an ant farts you're dead in gyroscope uh, whereas bobby bearing the controls are far superior than the game that we shall not name ever again uh the end of the game of Bobby Bearing is that a number of your cousins, which you can see in the bottom left, uh, currently the faces uh, are hidden, uh, are lost in this gigantic, and I mean gigantic, maze. Uh, and it's up to you to go and find them. We're currently we're looking for Barnaby. Uh, so we've got to go through this huge maze full of traps, switches, etc. and buddy ball bearings and find them. Where my cat? My cat's somewhere in this room and won't, and won't show herself. Uh, so we've got to go through this gigantic maze and find our cousins. Uh, that it's, It sounds simple, but it's not. Because once we find our cousin, we've then got to roll our cousin back. Uh, now, I've been playing this off and on. The reason why I've been playing it off and on is... Oh, I'm squashed. The reason why I've been playing it off and on is... I'll be brutal here. It can get frustrating. Where is my cat? It can get frustrating. Uh, there is moments where you'll get trapped and can't get out. Uh, you'll fall down a ledge and your character will get stuck. And for whatever reason, you can't get out. And you'll have to quit the game and go back in. That's what I've seen. Uh, there may be a, a button I'm not clicking or a ledge that I've not touched and then whatever. But I can't get out. As I said, the game is massive. Uh, and it's well laid out except for the pitfalls that get you stuck uh, it looks great it really does look great uh, I don't know why the, the Figgins brothers never made any more Figgins father son or Figgins cousins never made any more other than fake chess because they've got some real talent here uh, the smiley face on the little ball bearing is brilliant uh, when you fall a little question mark comes up you haven't technically got lives, you've got a countdown timer here. When you get squashed flat by a lift, that looks fantastic, I have to admit. So I don't know why they never went and did any more on the ZX Spectrum. Perhaps they didn't like working on it. But it looks excellent. I really like playing it, except for the moments where you get stuck and that bothered me. I'd like, I would have liked to find a way out of that. But, yep, massive. You need a map, though. You really do need a map because, as I said, this game is massive. Love the controls. Love the look. The colours go well because they've done it in monochrome each screen. There's no clash. I like the fact that you've got to push your cousins all the way back. That is brilliant as well. It's a really good game. It's well deserved here. So, go and play Bobby Berry. Got my thumbs up. So, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Go and play Bobby Berry on the edge or by the edge. Go!